probably Goodwill Hunting, um, although I really, really admire Seize the Day, um, which I was talking about earlier tonight, um, which is originally a story by Saul Bellow, made into a movie, an exceptional movie, and Robin Williams is unbelievable in that. But that's not, I mean, it's not a very optimistic, uplifting movie, um, but it's great acting. So probably my favorite would be, I think, Goodwill Hunting. De he was great in Dead Poets Society as well, of course, but th those are all sort of like well-known coming into it, so yeah. This dude look like a hot dog. There you go, Ramir, yeah. Red Ivy. Heh, <laughs> Hey, what happened? Oh no. Ah, uh, this is bad. That blast reversed the enemy energy flow in the capsules. We need to get out of here. Quick, over here! Yes. Oh, what have I done? There's no excuse for it, no matter how much Kefka may have threatened me. Draining the life energy from Espers just to make people stronger. You've helped me come to a decision. I'm gonna talk to the Emperor and make him realize how foolish this whole war is. He does look like a hot dog. Save point. Nothing but save point. Captain on banana, not a fighter. Yes, that's right. Oh, uh, what's up, Law? You're retiring from Polo? Oh, man. Sorry, dude. Red Ivy. I've known her ever since she was a child. I doted on her as if she were my own daughter. But I also forced her to become a Magitech Knight. If I ever get to see her again, I want to apologize for all of my mistakes. Oh, God. Oh, no, it's Kefka! Go! Whoa, cart! Oh my god, pixelation. Whoa, gosh! Stole lightning scroll. Haha. <laughs> He definitely was. He was. He was a fine actor. He's trained at Juilliard. Oh boy. Oh wait, Magnet. That's not gonna. That's not gonna work well on these guys. Yeah, Flame is just gonna heal them. So that was dumb. That was dumb. Oh, it didn't. Okay. I thought that was going to heal them. Game mode 7, go! So this sort of going into the screen, they called game mode 7, really. I think it's an awesome looking thing, by the way. I love the character model. Yep, for sure, Zoji. Uh, I hear you, Law. By the way, guys, if anyone is new to the stream, if you guys like and see what you hear, uh, I would appreciate very much a follow. My name is Arvin Elleron. I play all sorts of different games, but I tend to focus on story and narrative-based games. So a lot of RPGs, adventure games, things like that. Um, love the Batman series. Um, the Assassin's Creed series was really awesome. Um, I uh, have also had the chance to interview um, lots of uh, devs and writers and people like that which is a big thing we do here, and I do the Fighting Fantasy game book series as well. Um, if you don't know what that is, you can check out my past broadcasts or on YouTube, so you know, we're, uh, you'll be able to find out more information about that. 
there. And, uh, yeah. And thank you guys. Oh, really? Yes, can someone put a, a link to my, uh, can someone do an exclamation point R of tube? Ow. Thank you, Law. That is it. And at the moment, um, at the moment it's, uh, it's kind of in, const under construction, you know, because I'm transferring things over from here to there. But in about a month it should be up and functioning, and you'll be able to check it out in the meantime with past broadcasts. You guys can see how terrible the audio and video quality was on my first cast with Legend of Grimrock. Oh, boss fight. Oh, God. What? Dear God. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's what I started out with tonight, so it was a little clip from that. It was a great game. It really was. Flurry. Here's some flurry. I get him. him down like it was my job. Oh. Nice. Woo. Did it. Yeah, baby. Trying to get the heck out. What the heck? Uh. Plasma. Hot plasma. Wow. That was pretty strong, actually. 
So can you only use espers once per fight? Does anybody know? Can you only use espers once per fight? Or am I wrong on that? the hell? I'm gonna assume that's the... That's the chaser's fault. Yeah, you can? Okay. Oh, shoot. That isn't what I meant to do. I didn't mean to drill the Onion Knight, man. Taking that guy out. Take out the chaser. Drill the chaser. There you go. It looks like it. It does. It looks like that's the way it went. Like it was not changed. Because it looks like I could only use them once, and it wasn't selectable anymore. There we go. You can gain a level. Cassius gained a level. Level 21, 18, 19. Oh, you were talking too long. You were taking too long. I got worried. Where is Red Ivy? We can talk about it later. Let's get out of here. Make good my escape. Ah, Kefka. Crud! What a mess! Hee hee hee! You're not getting away from me! Best sci-fi movie. Yeah, I mean, the first Matrix, I would say. I'm not actually sure, Adamaniac. I'm not sure. Probably not that close. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. It didn't have two sequels. That never happened. I agree. You're not getting away from me! Oh, my God. What? That's really scary. We better not overstay our welcome. Let's get out of here fast. That probably would have been a good idea, but it seems we're a bit too late. Here they come. Gah! What are those mechanical monstrosities? I don't like the looks of those things. I bet Gambit has some gambling thing, right? Nice! I got a chocobo attack? Chocobo attack! Yeah! I haven't seen Pacific Rim, actually, and I, Robot, the problem is that's not the movie. That's not a movie. That's, that's not, that's, that's not the book at all. It's literally the opposite of what, um, Asimov was suggesting in his book. How? Oh my god. What?
Alright. Ow! God, man, what? It's crazy. Crane shakes the deck. Oh my god, what? Wow. Wow, that is rough. Uh, I wrote about the movie, zero. Because it's not the book. And because it literally was a script that was rejected by another movie studio that they then slapped the iRobot title onto. Are you joking me? This is where I started? Are you... Ch oh my god. Are you kidding me? What? Oh, what? Oh, my God Almighty. <sighs> wow. Wow. Yeah, um, I mean, the main thing was just not don't use electricity on the boss. I got that. No, I mean, I saw the quick save button, but the quick save button's kind of cheap, isn't it? I mean... I saw... Oh, the new espers? No. I mean, I didn't even have a chance to even look at them yet. Actually, wait. Did I maybe not equip them? I think it's possible I didn't even equip them. All right. Well, here's hoping that I can get through this one all right. No, I mean, I saw that there were two bosses, but, like, like, they, they heal each other or whatever. I got that. So, basically, is the point, don't do AO, do, like, don't do AOE on those bosses? Is that the point? Don't do the AOE on them? They're all full lights. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I don't want to do that. I mean, if I can avoid it, that really is cheating. So, but is that the point? Like, they're really actually... I can't I can't fight both bosses because... Because I did kill one of them, so I'm just supposed to focus on, like, killing one boss first. I mean, I, I still... I would assume I want to pull out the espers and use the espers. I assume I want to do that. Only one boss is an immunity to one element type. Okay. Mm, I'm not a hundred percent sure if I saw that. I mean, I'm not necessarily sure I know what I saw as far as their weaknesses are concerned. Alright, the boss time.
Nice. Don't like that, miss. Next up. Yeah, that's true, Zoji. That's true. Now, All right, let's take a look at what these espers can do. Oh my god. Cures party of most status ailments. Okay. Petrifies all enemies, envelops all enemies, silences Bismarck. Carbuncle. Well, that carbuncle looks like it could be useful. Man, I need to equip more of these things, man. See what else. All right, we're gonna make this. Let's do Shiva. Mado and Bismarck. Why? Madowin is non-elemental and Bismarck was water. Oh, really? I heard it was really good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing them in. That reflect on everybody is pretty awesome. Alright. Summons are truly not even important, just because of the quake thing? Alright, 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 so let's see, let me see. So, one of the espers has float. Alright, let's see. One of the espers has float. That's true, yes. That's true, it would. Um... Thank you. 
I don't I don't see float around here to be honest with you. Alright, I think I'm good to go. Battles. Bio Blaster. Alright, good. Ah, uh, Flubber, yeah. Trying to get it together. Okay, Bio Blaster. There we go. Oops. God, come on. Almost got there. Oh, this thing. I'm going off on this thing. This thing is the problem. And... Alright, how about a flurry against the chaser? Really? Just the Onion Knight? Really? Oh my gosh, for the imp! Personally, I have something to get rid of that. Okay, Sith has it. Um, let me see. I think the one who had Kate Sith, uh, actually was... Was probably, um... What's up, Wasabi? Was probably, um, Red Ivy, who is not with us at the moment. That's the only problem. Yeah, it's taking too long. Got worried. Where's Red Ivy? Blah, 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 blah. Let's talk about it later. Let's get out of here. Oh, Jumanji, yeah. Wasn't wild about Jumanji. Crud with a mess. Oh, really? Getting away from here. Did Cassius have it? Well, I, that's... Alright, maybe. I'll have to check it then. Speeding up the run. Speeding up. There we go.
All right, float time. Moogle, moogle. Yes, choke of a battle. Nice. Okay. Drill time. Yeah. Wow. That was a lot easier the second time. I, I don't even know if he even used the earthquake thing, did he? Yeah! I'm worried about Leia. Let's head back to Zozo. That was a lot easier, man. Leia, who's that? I'll explain everything on the way. Leia, the Espers, the Returners. Good morning, Vietnam, Adamaniac. Second try. I mean, they didn't even... He didn't even cast the freaking Quake thing. That worked out. Thank you for the advice on the Espers, too. Everyone's here. Leia. Hear me, Leia. The Magicite. Father? I remember now. Thank you, Kilobyte. I was raised in the Esper world. since a montage coming. The Esper world. Still cannot save. Maduan, someone's trying to come through the gate. Hey, pull yourself together. Wait, is this a... Still quite weak. She'll need to rest for a while. Still have not been able to save. She's a human. She must have wandered in from the other world by mistake. We ought to kill it right away. Humans and espers are incompatible. wake you? You're an esper? What's this pendant around your neck? I know, right, EXE? I'll give it to you. A charm from the esper world. The esper world. So that is where I ended up. Everyone is at a loss as to how you, a human, could have made it into our world. 
You're the one who saved me, right? My name is Madeline. I was sick of living in the human world. It's nothing but a vortex of greed and hate. So I wandered out into the storm, and before I knew it, I was here. They say that humans and espers can't coexist. So, you don't want me here, right? No, I'm just not sure. I'll return to my own world tomorrow. All right, someone can show you the way back. That human already left. I wonder if she'll be all right without a guide. The girl went to the gate quite a while ago. In before she never made it. If the humans learned of our powers and decided to try to make use of them, that would be a terrible thing indeed. It's true. What's wrong, Madoon? What's wrong is shut up! That's what's wrong. If you don't want to go back to your world, you're welcome to stay here. But humans and espers can't be here to get can't be together. How can we know for sure unless we try for ourselves? How can we know for sure? Unless we... Try for ourselves. Ah, it was an esper-human romance. It's true. Esper-human romance. Ah... And the baby. I've chosen a name for her. What is it? Leia. It's beautiful, isn't it? So she's half human, half Esper. Interesting. Two years later. Humans! The nexus between our worlds is open again! This storm is just like the one two years ago. But this is different from the time Madeline came here. This time an army has come seeking our magical powers. Yep. What's up, Zalus? Can someone say hi to Zalus for me, if because it's taking forever to load? This is no good. Retreat to the Elder's house. Aha! I finally found it. After all that time spent decoding the secrets of those ancient texts, now it's time to reap the rewards. Grab them. Riches to any man who captures an Esper. Go! What's up, Zaylus? Good to see you, man. Leia's alright. It won't be long before the humans make it here. We have no choice. We must do what we've been avoiding. You mean, the magic barrier? I'll create a tempest to sweep all the invaders out of our realm, then I'll seal the gate. Even among espers, the power to create a magical seal is limited to a single bloodline. I am the last of that line. But at your age, I may not survive. And without me, you'll never again be able to open the gate. Madeline. The other world holds nothing for me. And it's decided. We have no other choice. Alright. A lot of people think this is the best one, um, Zaylis, and I haven't decided yet. I mean, I always thought that Final Fantasy VII was pretty much the pinnacle of the form. I played 1, won it. I played Final Fantasy III, won it. I played Final Fantasy, um, let's see, 7, won it. Uh, played Final Fantasy VIII, won it reluctantly. Played Final Fantasy IX, loved it. Um, and then played a little bit of Final Fantasy X, so. This is all because of that human woman. Nonsense. She could have led them here for all we know. Enough! No, she's one of them. It'll only be a matter of time before she decides she wants our power, too. Oh, no. Dumbass. Madeline took Leia and left. Dumbass.
Where are you going? Madeline, she... Oh no, but it's already too late. I began activating the seal. You won't be able to return. I don't care. What's up, Tokor? Good to see you, man. Oh, man. Blah, 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 blah. We're being pushed out. That's right, you are. No! Just when the ultimate treasure was within my grasp. So be it, Jedi. Madawan, I'm not like them. I know. Thank you. Will you come back home with me? Yes, of course. Oh, our baby Leia! Madeline! Ultimate fail! Okay. Yeah. A human woman? Who? Whose child is this? Whose child is this? Oh. Leave my daughter alone. Your daughter. Mm. And she must be half human and half... How fascinating. <laughs> it looks like my dreams of building an empire may come true sooner than I'd ever imagined. Unlimited power. Yeah. No. Quiet. <laughs> oh. Just throw a pig on top of her? What the hell is that? This world will be mine to rule. Ha ha ha. Father? I'm the daughter of an Esper and a human. That's why I have these abilities. But I should be okay now. I can control this power as long as I only use it in short bursts. Gestal already knew the secret of the Esper's power back then. Those Espers in the research facility must have been the ones they grabbed that day. And Red Ivy's power came at the expense of one of them. The Empire won't get away with this. I'll hit that Emperor with a blitz or two. The line must be drawn here! I just slammed her into the ground, okay. Unlimited cosmic power. Very, very teeny, 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 living space. How are things in Narsh? Hmm, maybe we should head back and see. The airship's ready to go. Come on! Oh! By all means, take a turn at the wheel. Let me teach you how to fly. Press the A button to lift off and move forward. Press the B button to land. Press this to turn. Press that at altitude. Press start to go amidships. Got it? Yes, I got it. Alright. What are the special techniques? Press select to view the world map. Hold the L button to make sharp high speed turns. Hold down both the L and the R buttons to move without turning. I'm trying to land. Great. Whatever. Best moment in a Final Fantasy! Woo! Bye. Oh no. What did I just do? I landed by accident. Actually, that's good because I need to save. Does that mean that he's floating? What is that wing? Is that wing there mean that he's floating? As I quickly hurry to save. Yes! Yeah, I hear you, man. Little Aladdin stuff. That is what that means, right? That they're floating? Is that what that means? Ah, the best thing ever. No random attack. I can go wherever I want. That's what I want. Screw off your mountains, cause I'm awesome. With this airship. 
I'm floating above because I'm in an airship. High speed turns! Woo! Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Open world. Nice. And I think that is a perfect place, in fact. With it saved. That, people, is what we like to call progress. That is what we like to call... I know, the ra uh, the boat and then the raft, I know. And then you got the airship and you're like, no random attacks ever. That is awesome, folks. And it is good timing because it is about that time for me to be uh, closing up shop as well. Um, so, uh, a couple things. First of all, um, don't uh, take off just yet because we do have a giveaway tonight. And then we're going to do a raid. And I do have an outro um, now that I've gotten set up thanks to the uh, wonderfulness of Nedowin, um who uh, gave me the idea. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be doing that. Um, but just a couple of reminders. First of all, I think this is the last cast for a week. Um, I may be casting tomorrow if I can somehow fit it in, but I doubt it. So pretty much like 80, 20, you know, 80% to 20%, I'm going to, this is my last cast um, for a week. I'm going to Gen Con in Indianapolis. I'm going to be at the Writer's Symposium. Again, if anyone is in the area, please stop by, introduce yourself, say hello. I'm going to be doing panels there um, and uh, signings and stuff like that and workshops. And of course, um, I'm going to be doing a reading on Thursday night at Indie Reads Books. So if you guys have a chance to check that out, that will be awesome. Secondly, when I get back, which will be Monday or Tuesday of next week, um, I will be casting this again, and then uh, Divinity Original Sin. Um, we'll be moving on with that. Um, my co-op run with Series Runner. And then the D&D with the guys. This will be Icewind Dale for a couple of sessions, and then we will go back to the second part of Ghosts of Dragon Spear Castle, which is the pen and paper stuff. A couple weeks after I get back is also the beginning of my fall semester, so I will be having a new schedule put in place, um, which will be a lot more organized organized. Um, the last few weeks kind of has been up and down and all over the place because that's the way that summer often is, but it'll be a little bit more organized going forward with that as well. So, um, hey, what's up, Battery? Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, you just missed it, unfortunately. Um, but uh, but I, uh, yeah, so that's what's going to be going on with me. So again, if you like what you saw and heard, please make sure to follow the stream. Please tell everyone you know about it. Please spread the word about it and, uh, you know, uh, follow my YouTube, do all that kind of cool stuff. And uh, thank you guys very much for all of that. Okay, so for tonight, uh, we are going to have a couple of, uh, we're going to have a giveaway, a choice of games, in fact. Um, and the choices are as follows. If you win tonight, you are going to have a choice between two games. Actually, I want to take a look at this game. Hold on a second. This one that Adam gave me, I want to take a look at it. Uh, strategy game classic. That's cool, but I think I'm going to do a giveaway on this one because I feel like I'm already too much on the Warlock 2. It's going to be a while before I get back to the strategy stuff. At least maybe not that if it's not Heroes of Might Magic related. So, if you win tonight, you will have a choice of one of three games. You'll be able to choose between Two Worlds Collection, which comes courtesy of Shadow uh, Mage. So Two Worlds Collection. Um, that has been played by Cambridge. Cambridge, New York City knows all about that. Second is Heroes of a Broken Land. Um, and uh, Heroes of a Broken Land is given to us by someone that didn't necessarily want me to mention the name. Um, but as far as I know, Heroes of a Broken Land is, I believe... Uh, an RPG, that's what I thought, a turn-based dungeon-crawling town management RPG, um, which has some uh, cool-looking stuff in it. It's kind of funny, like, sort of, um, I don't know how to put it, uh, sort of, kind of like quaint graphics, I guess you might say. Um, so anyway, you might find that interesting. And the last one is courtesy of Adamaniac, and this is Making History, The Calm and the Storm, which is kind of like a turn-based strategy diplomatic game um, that also has combat strategy and things like that also. So, Two Worlds Collection, Heroes of a Broken Land, or Making History, The Calm and the Storm. Um, and Two Worlds Collection, I think, does. It has Two Worlds Epic Edition, Two Worlds 2, Two Worlds 2, Pirates of the Flying Fortress, and Two Worlds 2, Castle Defense. So it is the Two Worlds Collection. Um, so...
Let's see. Um, well, why don't we do this one? All right. If you guys are interested in winning one of those three games, please type the word Esper if you are interested in winning one of those three games. Every time I say the word Esper, I'm thinking of Espy, that stupid, uh, you know, uh, ESPN award thing. I'm like, Espy, right? No, maybe. <laughs> cute, Thork. Very cute. Yeah, and for those of you who are in here, again, if you uh, liked what you saw and heard and you were new to the stream, please make sure to give it a follow. And uh, yeah, and thank you for stopping by. Casual magic reference. Oh, so much more comfortable when the beard is newly trimmed. So comfortable. Feel light as a feather. Oh, man. ESP er. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I like the world of Final Fantasy VI also. I like the little steampunk addition um, to it. I think that's kind of neat. I like steampunk anyway. So I think that's kind of a cool addition to it. And I like a lot of the little touches. I love the Opera House thing. That was a lot of fun. The Opera House stuff is really cool. Um, I could have done without the huge long gap between save points, but it just took me two tries, so that wasn't too bad. I was worried it was going to be more of a nightmare to deal with, but um, two tries was not that bad, actually. So it worked out. Okay, last call, people. Last call. Last call. Last call. If you are interested in winning one of those three games that I have previously mentioned, Two Worlds Collection, Heroes of a Broken Land, or Making History, The Calm and the Storm. If you're interested in one of those three, please type in the word Esper. Oh, nice, Narc. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the way I always say it is when I first trim... Um, it's the most comfortable, but I don't think it looks as good for like two days. And then about two, three days, it's grown in enough where I think it looks good and it's still super comfortable. And that lasts for about a week um, to, you know, maybe eight, nine days. And then right about the two-week mark, maybe right before the two-week mark, it starts growing so thick that it gets a little uncomfortable and it's coming over the lip and it's sort of like getting in, it gets sweaty and, you know, it's all that stuff. And that's when I'm like, all right, Got to trim it back again, and the cycle begins again, but yeah. No, because I do it the right way. Thorg, I explained to you, my friend, that I have owned this game twice over on other platforms, and the reason I'm doing it this way is because I want to be able to actually uh, stream it. So, if you've been enjoying watching this at all, you better be happy that I'm using an emulator. But just because I'm using an emulator doesn't mean that I'm going to use save points, because that would be cheating, so... What's up, Kiltonum? Uh, I'm going to take a look and see Lego. I haven't decided yet. I do not know. Uh, all right, so... Brand headphone is that. Uh, these are Bayer Dynamic DT 770s, and I think these are these are by far the best headphones I have ever owned. I have had them for years. They have a great sound. They are ridiculously comfortable. The only drawback to these headphones is number one, they were expensive when I got them. Number two, um, they are because they're closed ear um, and they fit over the ear because they're closed ear they can get sweaty so that is a problem because you have to clean them and all that kind of stuff you know periodically or they start smelling and that kind of stuff other than that I think biodynamics are amazing Inom actually has a pair of biodynamics too but he has the open model so he's got the open one out here I don't remember the model number if Inom's still here he can tell you but um, but yeah so um, but these are amazing, amazing headphones. I love them. And I actually, I bought this initially from the Guitar Center, and then I ended up dropping these um, just a small distance onto the table, and one of the ear things started buzzing. So I had bought one of their protection plans, and I brought it in, and apparently if it was below a certain amount, they just gave you essentially cash. Um, and so I ended up buying a second pair with that cash. So basically what it came down to was for the price of one headphone and a little bit extra because of the protection plan, I ended up owning two sets of these. So this is like my second set of headphones that I've got as well. So pretty awesome. 
Bacteria increases by a thousand percent, I believe it. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Okay. And the winner. <laughs> Congratulations, Kilobyte. Wow. That is... Sir I provide, okay? That is what my stream does. When you when you are feeling down, my stream provides you an uplifting experience. In this case, Kilobyte has always said he wanted to win, and kapow! He did it. Oh my gosh. The power! Congratulations, Kill. I was, th I was like, I bet that he's going to win this. And I'm like, D -d 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 -d, stop giveaway. Pow! Congratulations, man. All right, what's it going to be, dude? Two Worlds Collection. Excellent. And Kill, are you a friend of mine on Steam? Are you already a friend of mine on Steam or not? If you are not a friend of mine on Steam, can you please add me? Um, it's the same name as on Twitch. Can you send me an ad request? And as soon as I get it, I will send this off to you. Yeah, I don't think I have you on Steam. So send me uh, a friend request, please. Um, same name is on Twitch. And as soon as I get it, as I say, I will send it off to you. All right. Uh, okay, now, what I should have been doing this already, but I fell down on the job. Let's take a look at what we got. You are? what? What's the name? Really? Um, what's your name on, is it the same name, Kilobyte, as on Twitch? Really? What am I missing? What is the name on, unless you feel, don't feel comfortable telling me, but, uh, saying it publicly, but what's the name? It's all really shut out. What, so, uh. Scott MP. Ah, uh, there you are. All right. And that, whoops. And done. It is on its way to you. Thank you very much, Lego. It is on its way to you, Kilobyte. It is on its way to you. All right, let's see what we got here. Um... Who have we got at the moment? I know. <laughs> yes, I know exactly who we're going to go to. All right. Um, so we're going to do a raid in just a minute. When we do the raid... And by the way, just so you guys know, there is a new, um, there is a new outro that I'm doing. Um, there is a new outro setup. So uh, stick around um, because I'm actually going to be doing the outro. We're going to do the raid. I'm going to do the outro. And I'm going to and uh, and all that. So I'm going to do the outro. And right after the outro, I'll host this person for a little bit as well. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, but first, I want to say goodbye to everybody uh, and catch you on the other side of this week. Uh, first of all, thanks Cambridge as always for the work on the Botman. I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, of course, thanks to Law for originally constructing it. And Amanatis, my friend, good to see you, sir. As always, a pleasure. Nominatus is awesome. Um, and you should be following him if you're not already. Lego Freak, thanks so much for the moderation, sir. Good to see you as always. Netowin, thanks a lot, man, for everything, including for the suggestion about doing the outro as well. Adamaniac, always a pleasure to have Adamaniac in here. One of my regulars, of course, uh, has been with, me, been with me for a while. Good to see you, Adam. Kamazoots, good to see you again, man. Um, thanks a lot for stopping by, as always. Always good to see EXE fan as well, who gave me an awesome idea for subscriber story mode. So hopefully uh, when that partnership happens, knock on wood, cross your fingers, etc., we'll be able to uh, actually bring that into being. Fallen, always good to see you, man, despite your constant uh, comments about my musical ability. Um, but always a pleasure to have you in here, man. Good to see you. Gerald Lopez, good to have you back in here again as well. Giltonum, another person you should be following. Stream some awesome stuff. And it's always good to see Gilt around here. Thanks a lot, man. Good to see Glob, who has contributed quite a bit to the stream over uh, the past months as well. So good to see you, Glob. Great Dibbick, as I've said many times, voiceover actor, tweet, uh, tweeter extraordinaire, a man of many talents. Good 
good guy all around. Thanks a lot, Gray, as always. Pleasure to have Heaven's Cloud in here. I haven't seen you for a little while, Heaven's Cloud, but welcome back in. Kilobyte, congratulations, man. You ask and uh, the RNG gods deliver. Good to see you, man. Lake Plantain has been with me for a long time. Good to see you, man. Hope you're enjoying the Final Fantasy VI stuff. I know Lake was a uh, RPG guy, so uh, I hope he's enjoying what you see, what he sees. Laporis, Porquitos, someone you should be following as well. Good to see you guys. Uh, good to see you in here, Porquitos. Thanks as always. Mercurius, always a pleasure to have Mercurius in here. One of my regulars, of course. Poke Dude, lurking like a boss. What's up, Poke? Good to see you, man. Thanks for stopping by as always. Ramir, who knows very many things about all things Pathfinder. Good to see you, Ramir. Uh, thanks for stopping by, dude. I'll see what I can find out about Pathfinder while I'm out of Gen Con, all right? Uh, Roik's, always a pleasure to have Roik's in here. Good to see you again, man. Thanks for stopping by. Samets, Samets, definitely let me know uh, more. If you get more information about the forum stuff, I'd appreciate that. Um, that would be very cool. Uh, which reminds me, folks, don't forget to check out the Legion, which is the team that I now belong to. A um, lot of cool people in there, so definitely check us out. Um, Sa I already said hi to Samets. Shadow Mage, and thank you to Samets. Um, Shadow Mage, thanks as always, sir, for everything. Thanks for contributing the game that Kilobyte just won and for being an all-around good dude. Snarkbound, thanks as always for being here, sir. Good to see you back in the stream, as always. Always good to see Templar Warden in here as well. Good to see you, Temp. Thorg, uh, one of my longtime regulars also. Good to see you, Thorg, as always. Good to see Tokor as well, who I hadn't seen for a little while, but welcome back in. Good to see you. Trendane, always a pleasure to have Trendane in here. Welcome back into the stream, sir. Welcome back into the stream as well to Vacan, who's been here uh, very consistently over the last couple weeks. Good to see you again, Vacan. Good to see Wasabi as always. Wasabi, hope everything is going okay with uh, you and the family. I know you've had some issues uh, and stuff going on that you talked about on stream, so hope everything is well with you, dude. Dragon, always a pleasure to have Dragon in here. Devil Dragon, excuse me. Good to see Double Dragon and again, good to see Mikey Warriors, of course, as always, and always good to see Warbot, too. Zach Fan, who was lurking like a boss, good to see you, man, a pleasure. Always good to see uh, Zimmy002 in here. What's up, Zimmy002? Welcome all back, but not the last person in the stream name, because again, Zoji wins that. Good talking with you, Danan Zoji, on a lot of number of things, so uh, pleasure to have you in the stream, as always. Okay, people, and now you know how we do it. I told you about the raid. I told you how that works. We are now going to go... Thanks a lot, Wasabi. I appreciate it, man. We are going to go over and hit up this guy. We are going to go raid my friend Optic Nerve Productions. Go check him out. He is playing Trials Fusion. Let's please give him some love the way that you guys know how to do it. And as for me, I'm going to uh, get out of here. I'm going to see you guys in a week. I'm going to have fun in Indianapolis. I hope you guys will have fun where you are. Make be good to each other while I'm gone. Don't let me hear bad stories about you later on. I love you all, and I'll catch you all a week from now. Best viewers on Twitch. I'll see you in a week. Stick around for the, intro, uh, for the outro and go raid Optic. And have a good night.
Just 